Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to be doing a different kind of video, and that's going to be my favorite quotes of all time. These are quotes that specifically come from books. These are all the kind of quotes that have really stayed with me throughout the years and have really affected me emotionally, and I just think are wonderful quotes to live by and think about and consider. These are just quotes that I absolutely love from books that I love. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing my top three favorite quotes of all time. Here we go. Here are some quotes that I love. The best books, they don't talk about things you never thought about before. They talk about things you'd always thought about, but that you didn't think anyone else had thought about. You read them, and suddenly you're a little bit less alone in the world. I felt something I've never felt before. You can call it love, or you can call it free fall. They're pretty much the same thing. Another secret of the universe. Sometimes pain was like a storm that came out of nowhere. The clearest summer could end in downpour, could end in lightning and thunder. It's not the changes that will break your heart. It's that tug of familiarity. It's just everything. There are too many people and I don't fit in. I don't know how to be. Nothing that I'm good at is the sort of thing that matters here. Being smart doesn't matter and being good with words. And when those things do matter, it's only because people want something from me, not because they want me. I'm oxygen and he's dying to breathe. Plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. We all want everything to be okay. We don't even wish so much for fantastic or marvelous or outstanding. We will happily settle for okay because most of the time, okay is enough. I want to be alive and I have no idea why seeing how hideous life is at times. Maybe it's belief, hope, and passion all wrapped into one shape that rests inside my chest. Perhaps my heart is just praying for better tomorrows to replace all those shitty yesterdays. Maybe we just lived between hurting and healing. I believe that worrying about a bad thing prepares you for when it comes. If you worry, the bad thing doesn't hit you as hard. You can roll with a punch if you see it coming. I fell in love the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. I see the lights every night. It seems like the whole world has figured out how to be happy, but no one's letting me in on the secret. The marks human leaves are too often scars. And if I'm the stars, then Cricket Bell is entire galaxies. The clock always ticks. There are times that you don't hear it, and there are times that you do. For her I bend, for you I break. We accept the love we think we deserve. I try not to change, but I keep changing in all these tiny ways, and every freaking time I have to reintroduce myself to the universe all over again. And in that moment, I swear, we were infinite. Maybe all you need to pull you back from the ledge is to know someone would miss you if you fell. There is not always a good guy, nor is there always a bad one. Most people are somewhere in between. I think that if I ever have kids and they are upset, I won't tell them that people are starving in China or anything like that because it wouldn't change the fact that they were upset. And even if somebody else has it much worse, that doesn't really change the fact that you have what you have. The whole summer was inside of us. Love, purpose, those are things that you can't plan for. Those are things that are just supposed to happen. But what if they don't happen? Do you spend your whole life pining for them, waiting to be happy? I don't know if you've ever felt like that, that you wanted to sleep for a thousand years, or just not exist, or just not be aware that you do exist. But what is a dream, Connor O'Malley? Who is to say that it is not everything else that is the dream? Words are such unpredictable creatures. No gun, no sword, no army or king will ever be more powerful than a sentence. Maybe growing up means disappointing the people we love. Poetry is just evidence of life. If your life is burning well, poetry is just the ash. It's a hard concept to hold on to. The idea that there was a time before us, a time before time. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was everything. History is told by those who win. Wanting just leads to more wanting. There's no end to desire. Our lives are made up of choices, big ones, small ones, strung together by the thin air of good intentions, a line of dominoes ready to fall. That's the problem with memories. You can visit them, but you can't live in them. He talked about the ocean between people and how the whole point of everything is to find a shore worth swimming to. I'm in love with cities I've never been to and people I've never met. And now, time for my top three quotes of all time. Number three is from Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, and the quote reads, I spent my life folded between the pages of books. In the absence of human relationships, I formed bonds with paper characters. I lived, lost, and loved through stories threaded in history. And I think that this quote is really important to me because I love 
the way that's worded, I spent my life folded between the pages of books. I just think that that's such a wonderful way to describe what it's like to be a book lover. You become so invested in these stories that they stay with you forever and I think that that's such a beautiful way to describe it and like when people in your real life leave, these characters will never leave. They'll always stay with you and I think that that's such a beautiful way to describe it. Right, my second favorite quote of all time is from Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and this quote is real life with something happening in her peripheral vision and I think that this is such a wonderful quote because I think it's so true, you know, being a young fangirl <laughs> over many things, sometimes we like, lose sight of reality and it's easy to become distracted by things that make us feel happier like, you know, books and movies and media and things that make us feel happier and distract us from our real lives and I think that that's such an interesting way to describe it like real life with something happening in her peripheral vision like she's not even paying attention to it I just I love this quote I think it's so powerful and so relatable and beautiful my all-time favorite number one quote at the time right now is from The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabotsky and that quote is so this is my life and I want you to know that I am both happy and sad and I'm still trying to figure out how that could be yeah, and this is my all-time favorite quote because I have never read a quote that understands what it's like to be happy and sad and that it's okay to be happy and sad at the same time. I think that it's really relatable. How can I be this happy and this sad at the same time? And those are all of my all-time favorite quotes for the time being. Quotes are honestly one of my favorite parts about reading a book. Like, I obviously love, like, tabbing the pages when I read one of my favorite quotes. You know, going on Goodreads and then keeping all of my favorite quotes in one place. I just, I love quotes. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And yeah, and then at the end of this, and then at the end of this video, I'm